Edison High School here in Detroit. You know, he comes home and opportunity to play in front of his family and his friends. So he'll, he'll have a lot of energy in Callahan Hall here tonight. Cleveland State able to win the tip here is Deshaun Parker. Starting point guard down the stretch for this team. Ever since their start of heading into the year, went out via injury. Nice lob for Johnson. Right away, Johnson sneaking into the back part of that zone and for an easy dunk there. And you see Cleveland State starts out in a man-to-man -man defense. A lot of zone across the board in the Horizon League this year. Flusters some teams more than other. As that's punched out by Hodge. Hodge got some of the quickest hands in the business. And I mentioned that he leads the league in steals and 20th in the nation in steals now. And so he, he'll be on that, hawking that ball all night long. Just seven to shoot, poked up and into the hands of Johnson that time. Cleveland's going to look to get out and run every possession they get. They run and they shoot the basketball. you got to get back in transition against them. Patton holds it high, off for Go Million. Just a minute into this contest. Vikings looking for their second hoop. Go Million. Strong pass to the outside. Patton, three ball. He bricked it, though, right to Matt Johnson. Gomillion starts out on Antoine Davis, and uh, he was the defensive player of the year last year in the Horizon League. Boy, is he just overall versatile. For this off offense has really came along this year. Defense was there, but now he's added the offensive game to it. Seven to shoot. Davis catch and shoot. Not quite off the back. Waterman and Isiani combined for that offensive board. Isiani getting them them second opportunities. Waterman doing what he does best as he buries it. That's a good sign to see him get started. Nice catch and shoot right there from the corner. 3-2. Detroit Mercy snatches their first lead. Really trying to carry the momentum that they had in the last two games here at Callahan Hall. And really playing the four best teams in the Horizon League statistically in these last four games. Have a lot to prove. Missing all the home games that we had early this year. Just an opportunity to be at home to play some games at home is great for Detroit. Go million against Isiani. Johnson offensive board. Out for a deep three. Hodge got knocked down. No call. Another offensive rebound. Parker will set it back up for Go million. Against Johnson. Little skipping pass out of bounds. And the possession back to Detroit Mercy. Detroit's going to have to work hard on those backboards tonight. They're missing their leading rebounder with a cat being out. You can see here off the dribble. Getting to the basket, good defense, solid defense that time. Detroit is on top of it. His own defense has been really good for Detroit this year. Johnson offered Davis. Pretty good pass. Drives the baseline. Nice move. Can't get it to fall. Isiani will. Isiani's doing a good job so far early in this game on the offensive board. The second one he was able to put that one back in. Hodge puts it back on the floor, looks for Johnson. Good passing here. It's a team that certainly will share the basketball. Unselfish nature all the way around. Go million, hooked there by Davis. Play continues. I'm letting a few fly so far. What a pass. Down low, Johnson to go million. Johnson looking like a point guard there. You have to watch the cuts to the basket. Uh, they play off of the Johnson's a good passer from up there, and, and he'll look for that cut directly to the basket off of the screen. Five, four. Trent Mercy with the lead here. Harvey. Steps out for Isiani. Warnerman, a low pass to Davis. Fading back. Wow, nothing but straight. Tell you what, that was great defense, but a better shot by Davis that time as he faded back off one leg and was able to knock it down. Seven to four. Detroit Mercy with an early lead. Virtually no stoppages. Johnson tumbles with Johnson. Huh. Every coach has got you gotta love that boy. I tell you what, Johnson head first diving after that back. For the Titans out of this timeout. Cleveland State State man to man. Pressure defense, you see double teams coming after Antoine. 
Waterman strong take down low got it to go good ball movement that time and they were able to get it inside and Waterman is a mismatch for a lot of guys with that 16 height Nathaniel Jack is the lone substitution here for CSU Johnson off for Gomillion Looking for Patton, intercepted by Waterman. Floats it up top for Harvey. Scatters to the corner wildly. Detroit Mercy will keep it. Catch and shoot for Noah Waterman. Kisses to the crowd. The Titans up 12-4. Noah's feeling pretty good here tonight. Looks like the Noah of old struggled somewhat through the beginning with injuries and COVID, but now he's kind of finding his way at the right time. Jack spinning three off the left side there. Isiani with the board. Good start for Detroit Mercy in the points category. It's five minutes gone by in this one. Davis, the skipper off for Isiani. Good drive by Johnson on the take. Harvey tipped it, got it back. Fades away, string. Harvey with a couple of down games, as you mentioned early, uh, Jeremy, before we came on the air. Ten-point lead for the Detroit Mercy Titans here at home. Kyle LeGreer, Kevin McAdoo checks in for them. But a few substitutions for Dennis Gates' team, including that man right there as he sinks it. Marambo. Marambo is turnaround jump shot right there. He's uh, you know, at 300 pounds, but uh, gracefully he moves. Nice spin move and knock that one down. So it's Marambo, Finstoon, Hill, as McAdoo fades that one up, Marambo will rebound. Woodrich. Substitutions for Cleveland State. Jack stays in. Marambo blocked by Waterman. Waterman doing a good job knowing that Marambo's not going to get off the floor that high. You can go up and challenge his shots. Johnson off again for Isiani as McAdoo will run the point. And this is where they want to give Antoine Davis some rest when the team is up. They don't necessarily want to sit him and then have to climb back on a deficit. Isiani fades it too far. Somewhat of a defensive squad that Mike Davis comes in with. Hill tees it up. That's a tough start for Cleveland State from the field. Three for nine. Here comes Detroit Mercy in transition. And this is something we really didn't see from either team the last two games for Detroit Mercy. Oh, fast offenses as Waterman has another. I tell you, Waterman's at his best with the catch and shoot. Not wasting any time, getting the ball and ready to shoot that basketball. They're finding him in the corner. Eight points for Noah Waterman so far. Out of bounds. Cleveland State has their second turnover. Well, you see Waterman in the corner. Good catch and shoot right there as he knocks it down. With no problem right there getting off to a good start in this basketball game. And he can, he can really shoot that ball. And once again, they find Waterman out on the perimeter. Knocks it down. Nice catch and shoot right there. And that's what he's capable of doing. You know, he did a lot of that last year. And he started to get his rhythm back. And the third one from the corner, it's a charm. Knocks it down. Sela into the game for the first time for Detroit Mercy. And Antoine Davis is back in. He'll play off the ball, at least on this possession. Antoine to the corner. Sela setting up down low against Marambo. The whole bench unit out there right now for Cleveland State. They're not afraid to do things like this, though. I know they'll come at you all game long. They keep players fresh, and everybody gets an opportunity to come out and play. McAdoo with a big time three ball. It's 20 to 6 to Trey Mercy. That's exactly what they need out of McAdoo for him to knock down those open shots and moving the ball around. And three great scores out on the court right now for Detroit. Titans 8 to 13 and another steal. Turnover number five. I misspoke earlier for Cleveland State right there. LeGreer. Off for Kevin McAdoo, close to a hook there. Spirals went off again for Waterman as he slows it down. LeGreer punches it back to midcourt. This is the quickest we've seen this Detroit Mercy offense try to move at least. Well, this team is going to put pressure on you, and you got to be moving fast. Great pass that time. Waterman going baseline. Davis giving him the ball. Detroit's really sharing this basketball and moving it around. You love to see it, don't you? 22-6. to six. 
11.20 left to play in the first half. Oh, Waterman has 11 already. Marambo skipping one to the outside. Finstoon got it. Boy, did they need that. Finstoon is a guy that comes in, plays hard, rebounds, plays good defense, and if you leave him open, he'll do just what he did, knock down that open shot. Just four of 10 from the floor. It's a big number four, though, is this one out of bounds, and they'll send five new. The, <laughs> the simple formula. Yeah. Of, so, I mean, you kind of understand it a little bit better now. And Detroit at a disadvantage from missing a lot of home games. It's one thing that stands out in my mind. I'll tell you, one advantage, 12 nothing is the count. Points off turnovers for Detroit Mercy. McAdoo has one three, misses there. Harvey will scrap it back out. They really need that out of Harvey. He's got to get to those boards. Davis picked off. Here comes Hodge and company. Strong take, but blocked by Harvey, and they call a goal 10. Hmm. Well, Detroit's got to get back. As you can see, this Cleveland State team wastes no time in transition. Pushing the ball down the floor, they're back in time. Just a little late getting there, a goal 10 and call. Once it hits that backboard, then you can't touch it. Matt Johnson in for Detroit Mercy. It's really hard to keep up with the Cleveland State subs. They're going the Grinnell system, five in, five out. Davis for three. Davis, no doubt this game is at a high pace, and Cleveland State's part of the reason for that. They look to push the basketball. They're aggressive defensively. Compared to the last two games for the Titans, this is like NBA pace. <laughs> no question about it. We're going to see some transition basketball here tonight. Go million against Johnson. Teardrop pass. One more. Hodge couldn't get it. Johnson, Deontay, that is, whacked that out of bounds. Good ball movement that time by Cleveland State, but not able to knock down that shot. They did move it around pretty quick and got a nice look at it, but not shooting the ball well here early in the game. Isiani in for the Titans. Brock Finstoon for Cleveland State. Just talking to Mike Davis Jr., who handles a lot of the substitutions for the Trey Mercy staff. He says, hey, we're going to sub probably more than we have all season just because of how this Cleveland State team subs in and out. You don't want guys to not be as fresh as they are down the stretch, so they're going to try to match those substitutions. It's definitely to their advantage, the style of basketball they're playing here in the horizon. And all their guys are ready to come in and perform. Go Million. Bounce pass for Chris Green. A million tied up there by Matt Johnson, and he's going to commit the first foul of the ball game, believe it or not, just 11 minutes in. Matt Johnson, Matt taking a hard hit on this. You can see Matt got brushed by that screen right there, lost his footing, and uh, got ran over by Go Million that time. And that's a, that's a big body to get hit by. Go Million's put together well, strong, physical, good defender, good offensive player. Had some good games. His last couple of games have been great. 20 plus. Chris Green, three ball in front of the Detroit bench. Yeah, he shot that one with a lot of confidence. He squared it up. You see the full court pressure now by Cleveland State. Man to man, full court pressure. Back into his own defense. Now, Detroit Mercy saw that. Full court pressure, a ton in the second half against Wright State. Harvey with another offensive board. Davis finds an open Johnson. Can't hold on to it, though. That's a sh shot right there. Davis had going to the basket. He probably should have took that shot. He had a nice layup. Chose to throw it back out to Davis in the corner. The result, turnover. Waterman, Johnson, Legreer, Davis, Isiani for the Titans. It's Gomillion, Patton, Green, Johnson and Hodge for Cleveland State. You're going to have a tough time doing that all night. Hopefully I get paid a dollar every time I <laughs> substitute a sub here. <laughs> Green for three again. You can keep track of who in this ball game. This It's going to be a chore to be able to do that. Waterman puts it back on the floor. Deontay Johnson and Patton doubling him. Matt John. It's the same group before the timeout, <laughs> I think. <laughs> well, they keep them fresh. 
they can't tell how many minutes they're playing because they're in and out so much they don't even realize how long they're on the floor. Davis guarded there by Gomillion. <clears throat> one more pass for Waterman. Boy, has he been on fire. Misses that one, his first shot missed tonight. It was five for five. Antoine, late pass, oh, Isiani man. bobbled it on the baseline. Great pass to him that time. He had the height and everything on it. Willie, Willie's got to catch that one. <laughs> right, you see the great penetration draw. Three, three defenders to him, hit Willie right in the hands with it. Uh, wasn't able to hold on to it, though. That was a great pass, but you see the defense just collapse on him that time coming to the basket. Right decision. Well, full court pressure now by the Titans. We saw that in the last segment for Cleveland State. Parker wants Deontay Johnson. Threatening it'll pass for Patton, but he traveled. Move those feet too quick. Caught the ball in the corner, and that happens a lot with players. And they want they you know they see the opening and they want to take it before they put the ball down. Well, turnover is certainly up a bit since Craig Bodewan has not seen much time at all for this team. You'll see starting point guard coming into the season. And not to say that the guys who have taken over from haven't done a good job, but it's been a little bit of point guard by committee. But this team does everything yeah. by committee and does it well. It's hard to believe they got a player missing. <laughs> 15 guys on this roster. Eichelberger really hasn't played at all either. He's a big piece the last couple of years. Harvey, desperation. Titan just had nothing going on that possession. Not the shot I think the Titans wanted on that possession. Only the first time they've looked a bit confused today on offense. They passed it pretty well in this first half. Chris Green, a big body out there. Sends it down low, off again for Patton. Late pass and a reverse glasser will fall. Well, the one thing you got to do against this Cleveland State team is match their intensity because this team is intense the whole game. There it is again. Two on one. Open for Hodge. A slam. That's, and that's how quick they can get back into the mix. Twelve three run all of a sudden for these Cleveland State Vikings. 25-18 Detroit Mercy. Davis hand in his face. Hodge kind of stepping on his foot maybe there. And nothing but air all of a sudden. And you, you see that very rarely. You'll see something like that. Antoine's not complaining about it though. So I would assume not a lot of contact. Titans who started well over 50%. Is now 10 for 21 from the field. Chris Green getting a lot of time here in the middle minutes. Came in just six minutes a game for Cleveland State. Patton, nice move. You know, giving you problems throughout the whole game. Davis, Harvey, Isiani, Waterman, and McAdoo here for Mike Davis's team. Feels like a must score possession how this run has gone for CSU. Hodge right in the grill of Davis. Harvey from the corner spins out of it. Wild shot. And he drew a foul. It's only the second on Cleveland State in this game. With DJ Harvey being aggressive on that drive, getting to the basket. You can see the drive being aggressive, but the good defense is right there. They got a hand, forced him to bring that back behind his head, and fortunate for him, he was able to get foul on that shot. DJ Harvey, after a rough weekend, a rough weekend that was surprising because he was averaging 15 and a half, nearly 30 minutes a game in the previous six. Yeah, he had started to get into his groove a little bit and uh, kind of fell off. And, you know, maybe here tonight he'll find his way back. Combined one for 14 in those games. It's a couple big free throws there. One, I should say, 26-20. Patton guarded by Harvey all on Man. the floor. Johnson is the rebounder for them. The big guy in the middle, and the rest of them will be aggressive all over the floor. No, Waterman still leads all scorers with 13. He sits in the near corner. Davis 
leaning that direction. Off for Harvey, juggled in midair, and drew another foul. Chris Green can't believe it. That's his second in a row. Wow. There's the penetration by Twine. Once again, a good pass, wide open look, but they, no shots go uncontested against this Cleveland State team. You know, you never see a player go up where it's not a Cleveland State player right in his face. Harvey, 86% at the free throw line, shooting two here. Just the third foul against the Vikings. It's going to be Hodge and Finstoon back in for the Vikings here. Well, it's tournament time now. These teams are fine tuned. You're going to see good basketball in these last few games of the season, getting ready for the Horizon League play. And everybody's got to be on point because you know it's one and done once it starts. It feels like a tournament game, doesn't it? It's a lot of energy in the building. Two huge free throws there to try to separate this gap. Detroit led as much by 16. Cleveland State has never led thus far. Titans in the zone defense now. A lot of talking, a lot of communicating out here. You know Cleveland State will move this ball around and try to shift that zone. Torrey Patton tucks it off for Finstoon. Great pass, great finish. That's when you have to be careful on that penetration. Yeah, they'll, they'll, they'll make good interior passes. That was close quarters right there, but they were able to still convert the pass to get an easy layup out of it. Harvey jumping his way to the hoop, and wow, that one I thought was going to pin off hard, but it did find the net. That's the one you think he may get a foul on, but there's no foul. The other two you thought maybe were clean, and that one looks like it should have been a foul. He was fortunate he knocked that one down. He has seven, three of those from the free throw line. Isiani tips. That's the cut they got to watch out for. Davis parting and a block from behind by Johnson. 100 plus in his career. Hodge dancing, scoring. Percentage up 9% this year. Went from 40 to 49. Has a chance to complete an and one. Does just that. Detroit's a little confused on who's taking this out. And DJ Harvey picks it up and get it in bounds. Five for Hodge, tied with Finstoon for the CSU lead. There's up and down scoring as there always is for the Vikings. Waterman blocked from behind by Johnson, his second today. Gomillion, quick firing three from Hodge. Johnson tried for the offensive board, Gomillion does. They'll slow it down with three minutes to go, only down five. This dangerous territory for the Titans. Lob for Johnson a bit off, but got it anyway. Johnson. Cleveland slowly finding that offense, but they pop back into this basketball game and now trying to take a, advantage of the Titans here with three minutes to go in the game. Deontay Johnson, four points, two rebounds, an assist, and a steal, and two blocks. That's some hard work. Harvey thinks about the deep tray. Davis back to DJ. Book it! Uh, DJ and Noah has been carrying the offense in. Antoine's kind of quiet here in the first half, but has been making the right passes. Good decisions. Six-point lead for Detroit Mercy. Yeah, Hill Hill past McAdoo gets the better part of the glass. Uh, Hill's another high-energy guy that will come off the bench and spark this team. He's capable of scoring points for them. Davis, Isiani, Harvey, McAdoo, Waterman. The five battling on the floor for Detroit Mercy. Harvey may have shuffled his feet there. Outside, Waterman in and out. Shots have fallen more often than not for him tonight. He has 13, five of eight now. Hodge sees that one trickle his way. He wheels it on back here. Fins too with Davis all in his face. Mismatch in terms of size. Trying to bank it off the glass. Isiani ends it. Harvey and Gomillion take a tumble. No fouls become of it. We've only had five in this first half combined. McAdoo lost it from behind. It's Johnson with a swipe. And the baseball pass and the lay-in. Speed is incredible with those guys. You know, they'll get the steals and they're off and running. It's a two-point ball game. Can you believe it? 
I can, I guess. <laughs> the way this team plays, 53 seconds left. Well, you pretty much see that those type of things happen all the time. You get a big lead early in the game, teams are going to come back. Davis rips it through. He has eight. His second made three tonight. And this becomes a huge defensive possession as you probably have one more shot at a basket left. Hill drives the avenue, fins to another goaltending goal against call, Harvey. Man. Boy, you don't Once again, that's another good interior pass, and you got to be able to get a hand on some of those down there. They're, they're right next to each other, and the defenders are right there. And it's just a matter of getting your arms out there. Cleveland State does a good job of that. You can't make those type of passes against them. Matt Johnson and Legree are in. Harvey and McAdoo take a seat. 36-33. Detroit Mercy with the lead here. Davis calls for LeGreer and Isiani to come up. That one on LeGreer. The third, or check that on Hill. It'll be his first team fourth. It's a block and foul on Hill that time. That was a good call by the officials. Waterman surveys his options. Eight seconds left here as Davis is wrapped up by Woodridge. Are they just going to try to wrap up the Titans as much as they can? Because they're not going to hit the free throw line, most likely. Well, that was a good foul right there. That giving an opportunity to get the shot off. No look pass for Johnson, and he buries it. Big bucket. Go million looking to sink one from. Continue to. Bring that intensity level. You look for Davis to be a little bit more active offensively. Uh, did a good job of getting the ball to open people, and Detroit opens up in the zone defense. Tory Patton gives it back off for Gomillion against Isiani there. Short. Johnson tips. Gomillion trying to get in there. And what do you know? An early foul. Just 20 seconds in. We didn't have many of those in the first half. Well, here, here's a shot going up. Isiani once again being in the right place, good position, getting his body there and was able to draw the foul. So a little bit of full court pressure. We saw that more and more as this first half went on. Picked off right away though by Patton. Off for Hodge, he spiraled it away. It's turnover for turnover. You gotta be careful with those passes right there. Twan getting on the inside, and that's what I'm talking about. It was a close quarter pass, but you can't make those against Cleveland State. They play the passing lanes great. It's nine turnovers for CSU. Davis back to Harvey. You saw the man-to-man -man defense early for Cleveland State. They come out in the zone defense here in the second half. were unsuccessful with it at the start of the ball game. Five to shoot, Waterman contested three, Grace the front of the iron, and Johnson picks it up. Here comes Gomillion. Shaded off at the last second, battling away is Patton, and now Waterman flipped aside by Trey Gomillion. <laughs> Gomillion show, showing the strength. Underneath the basket, you see Waterman grabs the rebound right here. He locks it up right away and just a sure strength <laughs> trying to snatch a waist, threw him to the floor. So but Detroit keeps the possession. Facial expressions and all on that last replay there. He had all of his all of his strength into that yank away. Davis guarded by Hodge. Back to Harvey now. He heated up at one point in that first half of action and turned over. Open lane for Patton for the jam. I tell you what, and those turnovers turn into points real quick. You know, this team is a team you don't play around with the basketball. You know, you make a move, you look to attack. With the minute you start playing around with it, they're going to take it away from you. 39 35. Patton looks for another. Harvey loose on the floor, battling arms there. And finally off for Patton. No look for Gomillion. Two 
fancy that time as the Titans will take it back. Twan, a lot of credit that time for getting back, breaking that play up. But, you know, Titans got to be careful with this basketball. They've been way too careless with the basketball. Nine each, or actually now 10 for Cleveland State, and nine turnovers for Detroit Mercy. McAdoo comes in. Yeah, it seems like Cleveland State will, will take the ball and give it right back. <laughs> it's been that kind of half thus far. Johnson telegraphing one for McAdoo, off for Waterman. A little bit of a low pass. Isiani through the contact. Oh, they called a traveling call on that play right there. Isiani shuffled his feet. Good passing, though, right here. Nice drive right there. Nice little dish off. And he shuffled those feet a little bit underneath the basket. It's unfortunate for the Titans. I think Cleveland State has felt that Detroit Mercy has done that a few times. It's the first call we've seen of that variety. Shot clock down to 12. Patton triggers to the hoop. Got it. And Johnson doing a good job initially and losing him at the last minute. Seen it down to two a couple times. The last in the first half late. Here it is again. Place slowing down significantly now with the turnovers. Davis rebounded by Gomillion and then helped out by Johnson. Hodge drew some contact. No call. Isiani rolling around on the ground, grabbing his back. And now there is a foul call. Uh, Isiani in a lot. A lot of pain here. See Cleveland, as always, looking to attack. Isiani steps in, takes the charge. No call on that. He had good position. Couldn't tell whether his foot was on the line or whatever, but he looked like he fell right on his lower back. He's in some pain right now. And there underneath, you see the, the bump. Offensive player creating the contact. Uh, the officials are definitely letting these guys go at it, though. Not blowing the whistle a whole lot. They're letting them play. They did call a foul kind of after that play was over on Waterman. Only the first on the Titans. One each for each of these two teams. Rolls off the elbow of Waterman. And now an offensive foul off the basketball again. That is going to go against Patton for a forearm shiver. So the Titans uh, got their hands full. They're going to be in for a battle against this team. Here you see the tie up, tried to make that tight pass again. Uh, couldn't get it through off the knee. And there's a foul committed right there against Noah. Bodies flying everywhere. And you see the officials are kind of letting things just take course here. Yeah, he'll heal. Back in now for Cleveland State. Player they think is really improved. Davis had a tip Sela also down low now for Mike Davis's team. Having a tough time making clean passes. And that was not the case really for either team in the first half. McAdoo back out for Matt Johnson. Five on the shot clock picked off by Gomillion. Here comes Parker against McAdoo. Blocked out of the building by C Anderson Marambo is in down low against Sela here. 6'8 against 7 foot. The 6'8 is 300 pounds as he barrels his way through. Yeah, he's talking about creating space. Uh, he's com comfortable with what he's doing. And that, this young man knows how to play basketball. He created a lot of space that time. Knocked you away with his body and he's got a wide open look around the basket. He averaged 12 and 6 last year in junior college. So well, he's got a great feel for the game. Davis back out for McAdoo. Open. Knocks it down. Love it. Catch and shoot. And this is a team you shouldn't play around with the basketball with. You catch that ball and let it go. And that goes against Patton, kind of battling with Waterman at the free throw line. Some pushing and shoving going on there. Cleveland State's aggressive and physical, and the Titans can't be intimidated by it. They have to match that intensity. Right here, you see the ball movement. 
They'll, they're looking to make contact at all costs right there, just a shove to Noah. Another full court pickup for the Vikings. This is something that Trey Mercy worked on a lot, the press break. Just to slow the offense down. And they've really been doing a good job on Davis, not giving him any open looks. See two players coming at him every time he gets the basketball. Mm, from deep, Mirambo ends the possession with a nice defensive board. Scoops it for Gomillion. Offense to fouled by Sela. Got away with a travel that time, too. He definitely shuffled his feet. It's the first on Sela, the third on Detroit Mercy. See the pass, and there go the, the two-step. And he was able to draw the foul. And he's good. He'll look to put his head down. He'll look to attack the basket. He has a lot of success doing that. Well, high praise for this young man from his head coach. He said, look, early on in the recruiting process, he made it clear, look, he was a starter at Pacific, played a lot of minutes and put together some really good scoring and rebounding, 11 points and six rebounds. And Cleveland State made it clear that you're not going to start at least this year. But he was fine with that. And that's what most impressed them. Doing a nice job off the bench. Well, you get a lot of opportunities. This team looks to shoot the basketball. They, they get the shots they in and out of the game. Nobody sits for a long period of time. You know when you come out, you're going back. Waterman tied up. Two big bodies in his face. Woodwich run of them. Here's McAdoo, who's blocked. Yeah. McAdoo thought he got hit, but he ran into a wall that time. So <laughs> it was no, it was no hit there, no contact. He just ran into a wall, fell straight to the ground. Johnson, looking for openings to 11 seconds to shoot, finds McAdoo wide open again, off the inside. He's missed a couple open looks. Finstone is knocked in the face by Davis. No call. As he'll handle the basketball. Hill, little spinorama there, gets himself by, running throw, and a bury by Jason Woodridge. Well, Woodridge can knock that shot down. If you leave him open, he'll definitely knock it down. That was a good find to get him in the corner and Cleveland State back into his own defense. Johnson breaks the lead for Cleveland State after they just snatched it for the first time. First time in Detroit was able to take it right back in. I mentioned earlier that we're in for a good one tonight. We're definitely going to be in for a good one. Detroit has to continue to keep matching this intensity. Mirambo off for Woodwich, fades away, pulled down once again by Waterman here. Got to defend that cut across the middle, and Detroit doing a decent job of that. You'll see a lot of that. Davis, a few more passes. McAdoo's been cold. Off for Isiani. Flying ball once again for Waterman, a catch and shoot. Good ball movement. And Willie's laboring a little bit out there on the court. I see him grimacing coming up the court. I don't know if it's from the fall, fall with his back. Ooh, now Noah grabs his back. Ran right into Marambo that time. You don't want to run into Marambo. That can be a problem. And Marambo. Could not handle that one. Davis all the way wildly down the floor, and a foul is called. It's on Cleveland State's Deshaun Parker. That'll be his first team fourth. See Davis top speed right here. And there's the bump to knock him off balance and stumbling to the floor that time. Oh, they wrapped it up the way as hard as they play. No doubt. Uh, I mean, it's not, uh, you know, everything hasn't been perfect for them, but the intensity that they bring to the table is incredible. LeGreer handles it here under the timeout. Johnson fader. A nice little floater that time by Johnson. Pulled up right in the right spot. That's a tough shot to get to. Got a nice arc on it over the top. Hill, Woodrich, Johnson, Gomillion, Patton on the floor right now for Cleveland State. Here's Woodrich. Plays with a extremely high motor. Hill ran into LeGreer, took the charge. Man, and those are the, the little things that LeGreer do. And that's what coach is comfortable with having him on the floor. You see him 
moving his feet, getting right there, getting good position, and took all of it that time. And that's invaluable when you get players to be able to do that. Him and Willie are two of the best on this team at taking the offensive charges. So mark that one down, 11.52 in the second half. It could rain to be pretty big. Big things that don't really show up on the stat sheet, but it means a lot to get your team possessions. Davis rolls around a coca screen, slams it off the glass and in. They're making Davis work for every shot. You know, he had 35 points last game, and it's obvious that they haven't forgot that. They're going to make him work for every possession. Go Million, tied up there by Wanerman, has to flip it back outside to Green. Go Million finds it in the near corner, looking to rise and slam out of nowhere. The Titans fouled him on the way there. Well, if you're going to go to the basket, that's the way to go. You can't go in there soft. And just for the fact that he took that so aggressive to the basket, he was able to draw the foul. Number five, go back in, shooting two. He has just two points tonight, two rebounds, two assists in 19 minutes, but this Cleveland State team is set up when even your second leading scorer is not too much. He'll probably do just fine. Well, it could be anybody. Any of these guys are are capable. They all come in and they give you everything they got. They bought into this system. They bought into this way of playing basketball and it's, it's paying off for them. And when you win in, and it works. He's had 27 and 20 points respectively in his last couple. Dennis Gates thinks he's a much better shooter than teams get him credit for. He's running into some tough Titans defense here. Titans all the credit in the world here tonight. They, Matching that intensity level and playing great basketball. Detroit Mercy up six on a mini eight to one run here. Antoine from the corner. Doubled there, pipes it off. Waterman catches and shoots again. He's, He's got a million keep, boards. Got to keep shooting it. And the shots there, take it. I like love the catch and shoot by Waterman. Johnson, top of the key against Coca. The Greer out battling a taller Go Million that time. Giving it all he's got. He's got good leaping ability that time. He was able to get up and get a hand on it despite the height factor. He, the leaping ability helped him out. The Titans will draw another foul. They have matched the number of fouls and exceeded it now. Eight total, or make it nine total between these two teams now in the second half. Titans giving the defending champs all they can handle here so far in this ball game. Big 10 minutes left in the game, but the Titans so far has, has been holding their own. Torrey Patton in for Johnson here. Matt Johnson to inbound. Out there with Coca, Davis, Legreer, and Waterman. Goes against Des Moy Hodge mm -hmm. or Gomillion, a bigger partner. The officials are kind of tightening it up a little bit going down the stretch here. Second on Gomillion. So Hill, Gomillion, and Green, who are all in the basketball game right now, have two fouls. You know what's amazing with Antoine Davis, uh, when he goes against a team, he sees three, four, Sometimes five different defenders on him. Uh, you know, we, we never mentioned, you know, Antoine Davis is doing a great job on the basketball court, but the fact that he's doing such a great job in the classroom. Uh, he's the first Titan basketball player he says it's academic all district, which is really impressive. As a quiet 12 here tonight, Waterman leads all scorers with 15. 52-44. Cleveland State needing to make a move right here. Green waits for Gomillion. Boy, patience is key. I'll tell you, those cuts, you got to be careful. Those cuts are with purpose, and they're looking to get the ball inside. They'll drop them in there. So Kyle DeGreer, who's earned the trust of this coaching staff, and then some down the stretch, handles the basketball. Davis. 
for Waterman, scrambling in the corner. Antoine back to Noah, relieving the pressure to Johnson off the inside. Isiani with a wild flip to Kyle Legreer. Another foul. You gotta like that ball movement by the Titans that time, though. I'm telling you, he, he, every player on the floor touched the basketball. Foul on Green is third. There's a jump shot in and out by Johnson. Good rebound. Willie's giving him another possession on this play. The good pass. Foul on that play. And they move the ball around. Titans hold the ball in their possession. Pretty clear slap on that one by Green as Nathaniel Jack checks in for Hill. And there's a quite a bit of jawing going on <laughs> in the crowd here between the two sides. Cleveland State fans having some fun on the road. There's a huge Deontay Johnson fan club just to our right. Oh, he's got uncles, cousins, brothers, <laughs> third cousins. Everybody's in the building. Davis find a slipping route to the hoop there. Davis is starting to come to life here in the second half, and they definitely need that. And now they've completely locked down on the fouls. That one on Antoine Davis. Well, it's almost like they got to they got to get some type of control this game with the pace and all of the things that's going on. Like the big slap we just saw against Willie's arms, they missed that down there. It's a lot of that stuff being missed. So. Got to start paying attention to what's happening out there. I think we went the first nine minutes without one. There was one within the first 20 seconds of the second half. Catton blocked by Waterman, pumped up by Green, and Noah was running the other way. He's like, what happened? I thought the play was over. <laughs> Noah's like, Noah's like, you got to get this. And you can see the quick move to the basket. He gets by him. But the long length of his arm is able to block that shot, and that should have been a Titans possession right there. Somebody's got to get in there and get that rebound when Noah's working that hard to block a shot. The blocks have been at a premium this year without Chris Brandon. He used to be the punching blocker on this team for the last three years. Green does fade that one through. Cleveland State at the free throw line. Their third make out of five attempts. Titans two for two. Waterman makes his way out. 15 points, four rebounds, two assists, three blocks. Woolly cleaning the glass up. Davis, ball in a string there. Peppered out of bounds by Green, but a foul. Man, Davis is staying down right there. He got hit pretty hard going to the floor. You can see the drive, getting to the basket, contact. Ooh, did they send the ball off his face? I think that's... And he hit the floor pretty hard. Uh... Yeah, so along with colliding with a, a big body, number 13, 6'8", 210, Antoine Davis just 6'1", 165. The ball hit his face and then some more impact as he hit the floor well, he's a as tough, well. tough kid there's no question about it his frame is fragile but his heart <laughs> is, is a different story right there we see him get knocked down and knocked around but he always managed to get back up and keep it going uh, but he's, he's got to work he's working for everything here here tonight Cleveland State for the most part has limited him in his career 36 percent from the field just 23 from three throughout his four years, but makes his first free throw there. He's had his moments, uh, 35 points against them last game. <laughs> Stuck both, improving upon that 87% free throw percentage this year, 88.5 on his career. 56-47, Detroit Mercy in the lead. Green tucking past Gomillion, smacked. And the foul on Matt Johnson. I'll tell you, Matt Johnson's going to play you tough now. You know, he's coming to the basket on the drive right there. He's going up trying to punch it, but, you know, Matt's not having none of that. If you're going to commit a foul, that's the way you commit it. His third foul tonight, the only Titan over two 
Isiani is the only one with two. Good to see him back in the game after he was holding his back earlier. Well, he's a tough kid. He's a little icy hot on, on the back and he's back in action. <laughs> It's Parker and Hill back in. Hill has had his moments off the bench here today for Cleveland State. Well, he's definitely been a spark plug for them. You know, he, he's, he'll come in and have some big nights for them coming in off the bench. 15 against Green Bay. Three steals, three assists. Big free throw here. Made it. Green is out. Deontay Johnson is back in. Man that took Detroit Edison to a state championship and won. Newish school in the DPS. Yeah, he's been doing a great job at Cleveland State. He's had a lot of coaches since he's been there. I think he's on his third coach, third coach in four years. It's always tough on a kid to learn all those different systems. Greer seeing the double team flashing to the ball that time. Drew some contact. Block is the call. Maybe inside that cylinder. It's a smart play by LeGreer that time. Seeing the opening, taking advantage of it, driving it hard to the basket. There's LeGreer coming full speed right there. Really not no position right there, just a, a little brush. Uh, and he fell to the floor. I'll take that back. He was well outside the restricted circle there. But regardless, LeGreer heading to the line to shoot a couple, five of seven on the year. Oh. Yeah, the thing with taking charges, too, you have to have your body squared. If you turn sideways or at an angle, they won't give it to you. And he was kind of at an angle on that time coming to the basket. Hodge in, Patton out. Trey Mercy has subbed a little less here in the second half. Kind of matching Cleveland State in that first. LeGreer got his own offensive board. Pumped it back out for Johnson after missing both free throws there. Well, he knew it was off the minute he shot it. Davis counted and won! Hops up, pumped up! And just like that, Detroit Mercy leads it 58-49. He don't like the punishments <laughs> that's being dished out. You hear him, he's been getting hit a lot going to the basket. Total concentration. Good eye contact on that basket. He took the hit and was able to find a bright spot on that square to knock that one down. Big basket by Antoine Davis that time. 18 points for Davis. Six of 13 from the field, just two of seven from three. And the lead back to 10. The largest was 16 with 11 minutes to go in the first half. Cleveland State has battled. Titans are bearing down defensively here now. Parker exchanges for Gomillion. Went the other way. Isiani. Penn with five assists and seven turnovers. That's a bit higher than anybody normally does in one individual spot. And you can just see the, the confidence in the LeGreer, the way that you know he's poised from his freshman year to his sophomore year. Playing some quality minutes for the Titans. Davis fading away, got it. 61-49. Hodge guarded by LeGreer here. Half of the shot clock going by. Go million, arcs it high off the glass. Patty Cake uh -oh. rebound, and Davis was hit. Oh, man. Don't look good here. He took a shot to the elbow and to the arm. It's clear they definitely can't afford to lose right now. He's holding his shoulder, so I don't know what's the severity of this, but uh, that's one player you don't want to see go down. See right here, going to the basket. Willie going up. Can't exactly see what happened here. He was hidden behind the ball. It looked like he took a shot in his shoulder, though. Um, yeah, looked like he could have a, possibly a dislocated shoulder here from the looks of things. Mm. 
Yeah, he took a shot to the arm. That's not looking. That's not looking good at all. Mm. Uh, it's a possible dislocation. Just when he starts to feel and things start to go well, and that's a and they're taking him straight to the training room. So not a good sign. And on top of that, a Detroit Mercy foul. Johnson makes the first free throw. So you what this Titan team have to suck it up right here. This would be an area where they lose their top scorer. Somebody's got to step up to the mic, try to bring this thing home. Matt Johnson, Kyle LeGreer, DJ Harvey, Kevin McAdoo. Team on the floor right now for Mike Davis. We'll have to mix and match a bit more. Assuming Antoine Davis will not be able to continue in this game. Tell you what, the way he was holding that shoulder, it didn't look good. Punched out by Deontay Johnson to the near corner. Here's Patton. Sometimes that's all the team needs. Three by Woodridge won't fall. Harvey makes sure he rips it down. It's a time when players have to step up. And Davis has carried this team a lot of nights, and this may be a night they have to carry him. Certainly was perking up down the stretch as well. Eight seconds to shoot. McAdoo looking for a window, fades back for three. Tipped by LeGreer. He's battling through the trees. And that will stay with Detroit Mercy. What effort by number two. Got to give LeGreer a lot of trouble right here. A lot of ball handling up top by McAdoo. He lets it go, but you see LeGreer around that basket, jumping up high, able to get a hand on the basketball to save this possession for the Titans. Johnson off for Harvey. Half of the shot clock for this Detroit Mercy team to go to work to here. Five to shoot, LeGreer to the cup. Late kick, Harvey fading away as the shot clock was expiring and Patton pushes too much. Their 17th turnover, you can't make that up. Yeah, they had a hard time controlling the basketball here tonight. So still a 10 point lead for Detroit Mercy, but losing your star player feels like it's shrunk a bit more. Cleveland State hasn't made many shots down the stretch yet. LeGreer, catch and shoot for Johnson. Yes. Big bucket that time for Johnson to be able to knock that shot down. He has 10. His first made three tonight under three attempts. One of their weapons are there on the bench with Noah Waterman. You can, that's another a guy that they can have that can step up. He had a lot of time, maybe too much time on that shot. Kind of looked like one of those opportunities. Johnson got it back. LeGreer fouls as he roars. Wasn't happy with that call. That'll be his first foul. Team number eight. So, um, Mike Jr. walk into the locker room. Then come out, they don't look like it's good news that he has going into the locker room. I, I, I'm thinking that it's probably a dislocated shoulder. And by Mike Davis's reaction, yeah. when Mike Jr. just talked to him, it wasn't a, a good reaction, I can yeah, tell you that. I mean, he made a, a sign with his shoulder. I'm thinking it's dislocated shoulder, which is a, which is a problem at this time of the year. It takes a while for things like that to heal. And I don't want to jump the gun with it, but from the looks of things, uh, the way he was holding that and the way he walked out, I've seen those before in the past. Sixty-four, fifty-three. Detroit Mercy still with the lead, trying to ice this clock a bit. But the way this Cleveland State team moves, that's not always the easiest of tasks. Well, they got to just play basketball right now. They got an opportunity. They had some guys that make some big plays and play well for them. I'm a little surprised when Noah Waterman is still sitting on the bench over there, though. He's a guy that definitely can get him offense. Harvey, big time hook. Guys are stepping up right now. Yeah. 
Parker slips it for Hodge. Bounce pass, slipped by by Harvey. They still keep it. Deontay Johnson fades it through. And now they'll put on this full court pressure again. Detroit Mercy worked on this a lot in practice this week. This is where you see the, whether it works or it didn't. Right there, it worked. McAdoo is one of the lone players. They want dribbling that up in that situation as well. Taking a look at the double teams there, the pressures there. And this, this is where they got to be really careful at right here. All right. See Noah Waterman sitting on the bench. He's in some pain over there with his back. Mm. And that's probably the reason why he hasn't entered back into this ball game. So you've got Davis, Isiani, and Waterman all banged up right now. Those are three of your top players. And they got to gut it out. That three minutes of basketball to play, and they got an opportunity, so they have to gut it out. The Greer back off for Isiani. Tipped right to Harvey, though. Shot clock down to nine. The Greer makes a move. One more pass. McAdoo arcing three too far. Tipped in the hands of Willie. In and out. Here comes Cleveland State with numbers. Patton, dipsy do move. Got it off the glass and in. Cleveland State's making that move now. They can smell the blood. They've had it as low as two twice, including here in the second half. Detroit Mercy will try to kill off as much time as they can right here. At the same time, you got to look to score and continue to keep playing basketball right now. McAdoo behind the back, Isiani. Three to shoot, Harvey's got to do something here. Two to shoot, Harvey from the elbow. Go million with the kill. Here comes Patton, shut it off the hands of Harvey. McAdoo on the floor, and Johnson will keep it alive. So a lot of time left here. Hodge buried it up to secure your tickets now. 66-62, huge defensive possession for Cleveland State right here. Johnson, Waterman, Isiani, Antoine Davis, and DJ Harvey on the floor. Isiani hopping, gets it for Davis. Seven to shoot, swings one back for Willie. Four to shoot now, Johnson, Harvey, catch and shoot, yes! The shot of the season, 69-62. Big shot by Harvey, I tell you what, the Titans have played this basketball game from beginning to end, and they need to finish this one up. It's been a strong performance by the whole team. Johnson. Sounds like Detroit to me. And, uh, you know, his whole family's out to watch him you know, night in and night out. Every time he comes in this building, he brings a crowd in, fills the stands up. And shoots just 66% from the line, but made it look like 90% there. Mm. Big free throws by him that time. They needed those. A buck 15 left. These green jerseys trying to lock in defensively. Harvey, Davis, Waterman, Isiani. And Johnson out there for Detroit Mercy. They're in no rush, obviously. And DJ Harvey's handling the ball up top, taking his time. Down to 10 seconds, nine seconds on this clock right now. They got to start making a move. To five, Harvey tucks for Davis. Got it! What a comeback from zero. <laughs> Moving that arm around quite a bit. But it was fine on that shot. Gomillion fading away right in the face of the Titans and another huge one. And he answered it right back. 72-67, Detroit Mercy moves very quickly. And boy, you couldn't do it any better with that full court press in the hands of Johnson. And he's bumped and fouled by Parker. That's his third. A couple of big free throws coming up here for Johnson. Well, you really wondered how that would affect Davis shooting. He's still kind of holding that shoulder. He's got what is a brace, I guess, would be the. It's a shoulder shoulder harness, harness right there. Usually, when people got a shoulder problems or dislocated shoulders, they, they'll put that on there to hold hold it tight and hold it in place. And it's obvious that uh, you know he's in some pain because you can see him holding it right now. Number thirteen, Green, and for Cleveland State. Isiani is out. 
Well, I tell you what, to come back out of the locker room, and you, it's obvious that uh, he's definitely in some pain right now. But it's a good sign to see that he's able to get back on the court and get back into action. Big free throws. Titan needs a defense possession right here. Green, he's been good today. This one no good off the left side. Pulled down by Gomillion. Green again. Chucks one up. Nothing but air. Shot clock turned off. They can't get a foul off now. Johnson avoids another. Waterman does. And they're just going to let the time tick down. Whoa. 74 to 67. Callahan holding a ruckus as they rise up. Swan's in a lot of pain, but, you know, he came through. Tell you what, he still came back out and was able to knock down a big shot. And what a big win this is for, for Detroit.